So we're trying to determine the maximum height of the wall when the density of the wall is 120 pounds per cubic foot and the allowable compressive stress is 150 psi. So first we need to find the stress at the bottom of the wall. And that's going to equal the weight divided by the base area. Now the base area is not shown here. I'm going to draw it in. Okay, so we have some sort of width of the wall or thickness and a length of the wall, L. Okay, and for now I'm going to leave W in just in terms of W. However, in this problem, it's four inches or six inches. And it'll become apparent why I don't fill those in at this point. So the weight of the wall, weight, is equal to the density times the volume. So in this case, it's going to be 120 pounds per foot cubed times length times width times height. The base area is equal to L times W. So stress is equal to 120 pounds per foot cubed times L times W times H divided by L times W. And you'll see that the length and the width cancel out. So the stress is purely a function of height and density. Okay, and we're going to limit this, so this has to be less than or equal to 150 psi. Unfortunately, we have have uh, conflicting units here, so 100. We have to get this in the same units. 150 psi is equal to 150 pounds per inch squared times 12 inches per foot squared, and that gives me 21,600 pounds per foot squared. So, solve for H. H is equal to 21,600 pounds per foot squared divided by 120 pounds per foot cubed and it gives us 180 feet. So this tells me that the wall could be 180 feet tall before we exceed the compressive stress of 150 psi. And we have to ask ourselves, is this realistic? A 4 inch or a 6 inch wall 180 feet tall? Um, there are considerations of stability here. I wouldn't want to go much more than maybe 10 feet 20 feet with a, with a wall this wide, unless it was fully braced. So the math tells us 180 feet. Common sense tells us that's a really big number, and we would never go that far.